Okay, let's take a look at the Save for Web options uh, that generate the the two formats that that are 24-bit full color imagery. So we'll look at uh, both the JPEG and the PNG 24. So Save for Web and Devices, and up here we have the JPEG Joint Photographer Photographers Expert Group, and then PNG Portable Network Graphics. So in the JPEG area, uh, every pixel is defined by 24 bits of information. That's 8R, 8G, and 8B. So the red, green, and blue choices um, come out to 16.7 million possible colors. So really good color, color fidelity in this and the PNG 24. All right, so JPEG. You got this little selector here that's just kind of a quick way to punch in preset numbers. What they're doing is changing this quality setting over here. So low, high, medium is just a kind of a quick way to set numbers. You can set these to anything you want. And the higher you get, of course, the bigger the file size because it's high quality, less compression, 291K down to 21K and in the middle around 60k so that's um, the size impact but with the quality slider uh, you almost never would want to save a 100% quality because it's really a lot bigger if you go down just a little bit you drop considerably so if you look at the numbers they they go down from 291 quite quickly and uh, when you get to the middle of the quality scale the image still looks pretty good um, at 48 61k let's uh, let's zoom in here zoom back a little okay so the, the effect of the quality compression is this it starts breaking things up into these blocks of compressed color and right now with the highest compression it's kind of jumbled up. It doesn't look very good. So as you come back up here, you'll see that those blocks become less and less prominent. And you can still see them even in the mid, mid values, but they aren't nearly as bad as down in the low. So um, even though we see them when we're zoomed really tightly, when you go down, you don't really notice it that much. So the quality slider um, is where you kind of make your choices between quality and small file size. There's a blur control. Um, JPEGs will make smaller file sizes if they're blurred. So the file size goes down, but um, it's blurry. So not really a lot of places where you'd use that. If you're going to use the blur effect, you can take a regular image that's maybe got a sharp background that could stand blurring, blur it in the photo, and then um, it will compress better. This note here, uh, the convert to sRGB is a good thing to leave on because that's going to make an image that fits with this next concept here, the Internet Standard RGB no color management which is the sRGB color standard uh, that's assumed to be on, on all the Windows PCs in the world it's uh, not a very ambitious uh, wide format gamut of colors it's uh, made for cheap half worn out monitors and that's kind of a good safe place to aim for you don't want to put a color space into your images that the monitors can't support and uh, then, as always, you have the image size at the bottom. You can re rescale an image at this point if you need to. You can change your your processing on the image by Cubic Smoother is fine. Uh, we're not changing the size of the image, but that is the the set of controls for the JPEG. You've got progressive and optimized. Progressive lets it load um, kind of every other line um, kind of loads in bands and then it 
increases its quality later. Um, not so much in demand these days. So that's your JPEG. And if this was rendered right now, the white here that is the transparent in the image would render as white. If you put a matte color in here, it's going to render as that matte color. So if I was to send this JPEG out, it would have a red color in there. So the matte is not a transparency effect. It's just a background that replaces the transparent. <coughs> okay, on to Ping 24. And here we go. This is, um, it's a wonderful format. It always looks great. There is no quality setting on it. It's always top quality. And if you have transparency turned on, this transparent area is transparent. Even soft uh, shadows and things are perfectly transparent. It's just a wonderful format. The only downside is, is it's kind of large. If you look down here at the file size, 723K versus in the 60 range for the JPEG, uh, it's really big. But when you really need the transparency of a Ping 24, this is the place to go. So that's uh, kind of the basic stuff of the 24-bit formats.